What's going on? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, and today I have Robin and Batman by Jeff Lemire, uh, DC Comics, and I gotta say, there's a ton of Batman books out there, and it might be hard to find one that's really good, unfortunately, but this one is one of the better Batman-related stories that I've read in, in such a long time. Um, this is a Batman story from Robin's perspective, and it's Dick Grayson in his very early years becoming Robin and, and first getting the suit and figuring out, you know, does he want to be a crime fri fighter? And, and where is he at in, in his relationship with, with Bruce? And we see how Bruce is, is very, um, I, guess, I guess, hardcore and very demanding and very, uh, he's just, he's... He's kind of a dick, um, more or less. And you see how Dick Grayson is trying to figure out, okay, how how can I impress Batman while still being my own person without becoming Bruce Wayne? And already at this young age, he doesn't want to become what Bruce is. He may not come out and say that, but you definitely see it. He's trying to impress him by doing what, what Dick Grayson does best, not what Bruce Wayne does best. And they do a really good job in this book of showing how Al Alfred is that intermediate person. He's not taking a side. He's just trying to say, you know, you know, hey, Bruce, you know, this is you might be pushing it too hard. And, you know, he's trying to tell tell Dick Grayson, hey, look, you have to understand, you know, Bruce doesn't want you. To, he doesn't want you to fail. He wants you to be this way. He's just trying to do the right thing. So it's kind of seeing that relationship is really, really cool. And it makes you miss that Alfred is gone in the main canon, unfortunately. Um, in this book, we see, you know, Robin go off on his own. He's trying to impress Batman. And he ends up tailing, uh, of all people, Killer Croc in the sewer. We see a nice fight erupt. And uh, Killer Croc recognizes Robin's outfit. He's trying to figure out where it is. And he remembers he saw it at a circus. So we might have an identity scare here. But uh, who knows what the future holds for this book. This is one of three. I cannot wait for issue two. This was a fantastic read. Um, especially, you know, like I said earlier, there's a ton of books coming out that are Batman related. And it's hard to pick up which ones that uh, are going to be good. And a lot of times they're, you know, a little more priced than they should. I mean, this one was $5.99. Um, and I got to say, uh, this was one of the better ones I've read. Uh, and if you haven't read it, I would definitely check this one out. I highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. And as always, guys, give us that like, give us that subscribe, and uh, hit us up in the comment section, and I'll be definitely uh, willing to talk to you guys about Robin and Batman. Thanks.